cells of fiends deeply fascinating. <laughs> well studied, if you ask me. Hey, could the best of the cell? Weird, right? Hello, hello everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, instead of doing um, what my plan was, is was we're just doing uh, P Piona, I believe is what someone said her name was pronounced. I forgot that This Month in Dragalia would come out, so today's video I'm going to be looking over the This Month in Dragalia, kind of talking about it, and seeing what's going to come up this month. Alright, that's going to be today's video, so remember if you end up liking this video, leave a like, comment about what you're most excited for for this month, and let's get into it. Alright, hello. Yuji Okada here, director of Dragalia. I want to start by thanking you all for playing the Dragalia Lost. Uh -huh. I hope you're enjoying the Fire Emblem Heroes event. Chapter 13 of the main campaign was also added, so I hope you're enjoying that too. The first time you play the main campaign on normal difficulty, it won't cost any stamina, and as you clear your class, you'll get upgrade items to unlock special endeavors. I think it'll serve both and new returning players well in their future adventures if they play, in, if they play the main campaign during the break between events. Alright. So, Fire Emblem Heroes event. Uh, the following events are live until May 11th. Fire Emblem Lost Heroes and Fire Emblem Kindred Ties. If you haven't played them, I would, re 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 I would recommend starting with the original event. Fire Emblem Lost Heroes and Fire Emblem Lost Heroes. Alphonse will join your team as you play Quest. And Sharina will join in Kindred Spirit. Um... Also, the defensive battles in Fire Emblem Lost Heroes are solo only, but this and the Fire Emblem Kindred Spirit can be played in co-op as well. This is all basic stuff that you know from the thing. Uh, the second half of the Fire Emblem Kindred Ties event starts May 3rd. Yeah, Tiki will appear in the Summer Showcase that starts along with the second half of the event. Tiki is an adventure with her own unique fighting style, so I hope you'll look forward to seeing her joining her the game. Also, a new type of content, the Coliseum, will be added in the second half of the event. These quests you'll fight successfully. Yeah, we already know this. Alright, let's go into the actual this stuff. Plans for this event? After Fire Emblem Heroes event, we're planning on reviving the Loyalties Requiem Raid event. It was the first event after release of the game, but this is the first time it will be revived. It's true, it took over a year to get this event released, which is insane. We actually ended up getting a new 5 um, Celiara before we got original Celiara back. Which is really funny because there's like a crazy bug that makes it super easy to beat any event, I think, currently. <laughs> Well, not super easy, but it I think you can't lose or something. I don't I never used it, so I don't know a lot about it. I just know that there's a glitch. Um, and they're planning on fixing it probably by the time this comes out. Um, you can add everyone's favorite arm master for water Celiara and the Dragon Pele uh, to your team. Also, four water Celiara and four wind Ranzel will get mana spirals that will unlock at the same time. Ranzel will be able to remove enemy buffs, which will make him effective against uh, Celia. Celia. Yeah, one of the reasons um, uh, Grace is so good, which is Grace is the Shadow Healer, which a lot of people end up using in the new Agido, is that uh, she can dispel as well as ha as well as have crazy shields. But the dispel ends up being super useful. You know, it's like not game breaking, but it does make the fight go way faster because of the. Uh, I believe she stacks defense, so you can just get rid of her defense. And Wind has no dispel, so uh, Ranzel will be the first one. All right. And I don't know what they would do to Celiara, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. In late May, we plan to add the interlude to Chapter 13 and add the big, uh, the Dream Big Under the Big Top Facility event to the event compendium. At the end of May, we plan to add Master Difficulty to Volk's Wrath and Agito Rai Uprising. Agito, you'll be able to craft Tier 2 Flame Attune 6 weapons. We're planning some action elements and we can only see Master Difficulty. So I hope you try clearing it. We're planning to add Master Difficulty to other quests in the Agito Uprising as well. But we want to provide standard and expert first and add master over time. I'm actually kind of surprised that Volk is already getting master. I really did think that we would get every single Agido first and then um, master stuff of that. But maybe they plan to release it a lot faster. Maybe it was because people were literally like saying like, hey, we would want some harder content in the game. And this is their way of saying like, okay, we'll start releasing some harder content. Interesting. Uh, please also challenge the water attuned to Ag Agido boss, <laughs> Celia? Celia, who was recently added. As before, you will get the materials required to craft a six weapon the first time. Yeah, gotcha. <sighs> I still haven't beat Expert. Working on it, though. 
regarding future updates as announced previously in Dragalia. And by working on it, I mean not doing it at all. As announced previously in Dragalia Digest, one future update we're working on is the ability of single adventure to use up to two select skills from other adventures. I'd like to share a little more about this as how it works. An adventurer can equip up to two skills from other adventurers. Only the leader of each team can use the skills equipped from other adventurers. To equip skills from another adventurer, the adventurer who the skill belongs to must be level 80 or higher and have at least 50 mana... Wow, 50 mana nodes unlocked? Well, you kind of do need it for... Um... Well, let me finish this. 50 mana nodes unlocked, specific items must also be used. Skills belonging to adventurers who join the part of the main campaign can be equipped even if you do not meet the conditions described. Wait. Skills belonging to adventurers who join as part of the main campaign can be equipped even if they do not meet the conditions described above. That means anyone can just have um, Ellie's uh, attack boost. That's... Mm, Alright. Some skills cannot be... Oh. Something. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so... Thing I was gonna say about level 50, the thing that sucks about level 50 is that the reason you don't really do it for a lot of units, unless you plan to mana spiral them or you just like them a whole bunch and you want the stats, is that it actually takes up TP, the Golden Testaments, um, which you need for mana spirals and you need a lot of them. Actually, there's a, if you want to unlock everything to the fullest potential, you need a lot of toilet paper and there's just not enough of it currently in the game for the amount of units you use it on. So that means that, man. If you want to use them, they have to be level 80, and you have to have all, at least 50 mana spiral. Not mana spiral, mana circle. That's crazy. That's a... That's kind of a crazy step to have. I thought you'd just get it, but... Well, I mean, and then also you need other items, too, so I'm wondering... I'm wondering how that's going to be. Uh, and also the fact that some skills cannot be equipped. I feel like some skills that are specific to the unit that, like, changes their 4-strike or something, you probably can't equip. But we'll see. There's more... Uh, gets it no noticed. Please be aware that the, this feature is in development, so there may be changes to above at the time of release. We will share more information when we, we get, when we can, basically. Regarding the main campaign, this was also shared the, during the Dragalia Digest on Chapter 14. is scheduled for release in June. A new adventure will join in Chapter 14. Look forward to it. All right, that's cool. In conclusion... Here's basically a multi and bless Aethan and Ashes times 30. I'm very happy we were able to have another Fire Emblem Heroes event. The second half of the event is coming up and there's a revival event featuring the raid boss. Can't pronounce that. After that, with Ciliar's Mana Spiral being unlocked, as well, we're planning a new raid event at the end of May. So I hope you continue enjoying playing Dragalia Lost. <clears throat> so here's the first big thing. No mention of a Gala, Gala banner this month. Fully expect one though. Fully expect one. So if you're currently going ham on Fire Emblem, do remember there's good chance there's gonna be a Gala banner. As you notice the the reruns that we've kinda of got for this month, that kinda of screams like we're gonna release a Gala banner around this time to me. But I don't know, man. I also don't know how much of like this month is kinda of, it cause this kinda of feels like a dryish month, to be honest with you. But maybe it's cause I don't they didn't really give us the full breath of everything. I mean, we'll see how Volk's Wrath kind of goes down. Um, I've only just recently beat uh, Expert, not enough to be confident enough to try and do it for a video. But, yeah, Master of this. In Tier 2, um, Agito Weapons, that's going to be a major grind. See, the main thing that ended up being the thing that kind of ruined everything is that uh, tier, two, tier 2 weapons became super easy to get to max level because once you got unlocked Tier 2 from um, playing Masters of this, you unlock Tier 2, you could then use ingots, and the ingots you could use 4. Because th what they originally wanted you to do is to grind all of them, get one to unbind, and then feed it to another one. That's kind of the way it used to be. Now if you get a T2, you get it once, and then you save a buttload of grind by just using 4 ingots in it. Um... So that means there's no ingots for six weapons. So you're gonna have to grind them the old fashioned way. So that sounds like it's gonna be a pain in the butt to be honest with you. I don't know. The other thing I'm kind of worried about is whether or not um, how big of a spike in power is this going to be. The last thing I kind of want is another huge might hurdle to go through, but it's kind of inevitable as the game kind of goes forward. I just hope that going forward it's not going to be suddenly like oh it's going to be required that you have 
T2 Agido if you want to be in the higher rank things. I don't know. Very interested in at least seeing how much is going to change about this fight, uh, how the weapons are going to be handled, and I guess some of the mana spirals. I kind of hope she gets a mana spiral, if we're being honest. Uh, I like her. She's good. Hmm. Yeah, that's the end of the day. And, and Fritz, too, actually. Now that I think about it, Fritz was a unit I used early on that actually saved my butt a whole bunch because of his AoE um, stun ability. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all that's coming to Dragalia Loss this month. Hmm. It's going to be an interesting month. Probably a slow month, if I'm being honest. But hey, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of today's video. Again... Tell me what you liked about, what are you looking forward to this month? Are you hyped for the Mana Spiral for Ciliara and Ranzel? Are you ready for Volk? I'm sure as hell not ready for Volk. I only recently beat it once. <laughs> but hey, and things move forward, right? All right, everyone, that's the end of today's video. I'll see you in the next one. You have a happy grinding out there. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>